I'm thinking of eating, are you? <laughs> recipes. Dreaming of recipes. So many recipes for cooking things up. I think of my mother and the recipes that were handed to her from her mother and 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 back and back and back and back and back and families gather around food. My two grandmothers, one of them followed recipes exactly. And the other one was a vaudevillian with a jazz band who improvised while she cooked. <laughs> yeah, just take a little of this and a little of that and a dab here and a dab there and a dash here and a sprinkle, 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 sprinkle to taste. To taste, to taste, to taste, to taste, to taste. Oh, and a hunk of this, and a hunk of that. <laughs> and then you, you bake, you bake, you bake, you bake, you bake, you bake, you bake and before you knew it, five, six, a seven, eight, we ate a deep, a deep dish, a deep dish apple pie. <laughs> there must have been a first recipe. I'm thinking there must have been a very, 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 very first recipe. Go back. Mother to mother to mother to mother and back and back and back and back and mother to mother to mother to mother to father. A mother, a father. A man, a woman, a recipe. <laughs> first man, first woman, first recipe. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Garden of Eden, are you? I'm dreaming of the Garden of Eating. <laughs> first recipe. Assemble the ingredients. One ripe red apple. <laughs> one Eve. One Adam. One serpent. Two fig leaves. Season with temptation. To prepare. Need one 12 pound serpent round the flat green branch of the old apple tree. <sighs> Let rest until Eve arrives and the serpent begins to rise. Season with temptation. Seduce with nutrients of knowledge. Pay no attention to Eve's protests. I can't eat your apple. I'll die if I eat your apple. And besides, I'm not hungry anyway. She's just being polite. <laughs> Meanwhile, marinate overnight or until Eve makes up her mind. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. When the hissing stops, offer Eve a teeny, weeny chest taste. There's nothing to lose. Let rest five minutes or until Eve makes up her mind. <laughs> Take that one. Adam! <laughs> when Adam arrives, rinse fig leaves. <laughs> Pat dry. Allow nature to take its course. <gasps> 
toss fig leaves to Adam and Eve as they exit paradise, stage right, offer extra dressing. <laughs> I'm sure my grandmother would have called this recipe the fatal nosh. <laughs> she might have also suggested that with a little improvisation we can update it for today. Now, to take care of the fact that we have depleted soil in our gardens today, we simply need to substitute for one ripe red apple, 10 apples, and for one serpent, 10 serpents. If you're shopping locally, <laughs> five apples organic, <laughs> or five serpents free range. <laughs> <laughs> Need, marinate, infuse, and voila! Something's never changed. <laughs> I'm thinking, today we're not tempted by apples. We're tempted by snack attacks of biblical proportions. <laughs> Our serpents today tempt us with Supersized sodas and, and big box pies made with genetically engineered white flour, <laughs> red dye number two in a palm oil crust. <laughs> Nutrients that tempt but never satisfy. I'm thinking, watch us as we waddle out of paradise Stage right. Don't forget the extra dressing. <laughs> <laughs>